what is up everybody Shauna D man here and welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing great and welcome back to Walking Dead season one episode four all right so let's go through here now we know Molly is uh, a little bit of a two-face she's letting she's let more on than uh and we realize, oh, what the heck? What are you doing? Alright, let's go back down here and meet up with everybody else. Jesus Christ! Oh God, uh, Molly, what the, the shit out of me? Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. Oh my God. Molly, what the? I'm just kidding. Here you go. Oh, you know what? I really feel like she switched it out. I don't know why I feel like she did, but I just feel like she did. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, or their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. spooked by those bells and then I heard someone coming what the fuck are you doing out here <laughs> Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory he sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open I found this oh my god Ben where did you get that I just found it it was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there Ben oh, no. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> dang Molly Oh, still. Got you. Nice shot. Thank me later. Come on. Ben, we gotta go. Ben, move your ass. Oh, he is just becoming a liability. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you. This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? 
It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Oh, God. Kenny, enough! Calm down, man! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got to both fucking killed! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! Nice group you got here. Shut up, Molly. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave it. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. Oh my god, she didn't even stand a chance, boy. They... So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Oh! Fuck! That's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! Oh, come on, baby. Missing too. What the heck? Yo, get up out of here. Uh, I bought us some time. Gotta get him out of here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's do it. out of here. Uh-oh. 
What the? Oh my god, it's the guy! Ben! Hold on, Ben! I've got you! Ben, climb up! Come on, you can do it! There's no time! You have to go! Now! Quit fucking around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get the others out of here! Lee! Yo! Ben, what the f I ain't playing that today, Ben. We ain't got time for this. Get out of here, Ben. Go. We ain't playing games like that. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna earn your keep. Oh mead? Clementine! Clementine! You made it back! Told you I would, didn't I? Did you find my parents? Clementine, what happened here? One of those things tried to get upstairs. I stopped it. But what about my- Upstairs? Oh, me. You did good, kiddo. Real good. Hey, what do you say we go check on Omi? Krista? Everything okay? Omi! Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Mm -mm. Uh. <clears throat> hey. Back already? Uh, what the I heck, old me? Medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We mm. almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes. Thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. <sighs> Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Please, save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen! No, you listen. You got some good people here and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. Heck no! That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. 
Yeah, freaking. I know enough. you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Vernon, boy, you, you started this mess. Piece of, mm. I don't know who Vernon thinks he is. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Oh yeah, she did something. Sounds did like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen. I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Clam, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Mm. I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Clementine? Clementine? Where'd she go? Hey, where is everybody? Clementine? Clementine! Oh God. <gasps> Yo, what the f
Oh my fuck. Oh. Did he get bit? I couldn't really tell. That it happened really quick. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's oh. Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man. Hmm. I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kenny, you know what Clementine means to me. She's my family now. She's all I got. In the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Katja and Duck when it mattered most, I guess. All right, I'm in. What about you, Ben? Now hold on a damn minute. I'm not going if this little shitbird is, uh. too. Lee, you want to bring Clementine back alive, you'll leave him behind. He fucks up everything he touches. Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right, if he wants it. How about it, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Ben, I'm giving you... Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She always had a kind word for you, Ben. She needs you now. Don't you think you owe it to her to help? You're right. I owe her. I want to do this for Clem, but I want to do it for Kenny, too. I gotta make it right with him. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. 
Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Taking her. This isn't Vernon, and you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Oh, my God! Oh, Jesus. So five, there we go. All right, let's see how. Oh, they didn't do a thing. All right, the boy. Did you kill the boy in the attic? Yep. Did you lie or threaten? Okay. Y'all yeah. brought what? what Look at that. Did you? Okay. Well. All right. That's pretty good. All right, so this, oh, okay, this shows the majority of everybody who came. Only six percent decided to go alone. Okay, well, I guess that's fine. All right, guys, that is it for episode four of season one of The Telltale's The Walking Dead. Uh, make sure you guys are hitting that like and subscribe button, comment below, and we will be back with episode 5. And until then, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.